Okay people, how's it going? Welcome to another Need for Speed video. I'm not gonna bash Need for Speed in this video. This is purely just, uh, I had a recent question about modern CPUs and whether the CPU fix works for them. So I'm just gonna quickly cover that in this video, basically, it's like an update. Um, CPU fix is about limiting the amount of cores the game can use. So we're gonna start this video off. Now is just a bit of gameplay from, uh, with the fix running, just to show. Um, and then what we've got to do is quickly flip across and I'm going to show the settings that I'm running the game at. This is with all cores enabled for the game to use. So the game is set to ultra settings uh, quality wise and all, this, all cores of the CPU are available. So this is a 13700K, um, 16 cores with a whole bunch of efficiency cores. You'll see which ones are the efficiency if you look on the left hand side of the screen. Um, from CPU 17 all the way down to 24, they're registering at uh, uh, 4,222 megahertz. They are the efficiency cores. So you cannot turn those off or disable the game from using them or anything. They just run in the background. That's handy to have. They will take the offload of all the other processes going on behind the game and bash those out. You'll see further into the video what I mean by that. So at the moment you can see that the CPU is getting pretty heavily hit. Um, why this game, being so old that it is, needs a modern CPU every single core bar maybe one at like 60% usage is just ridiculous. It's not needed. Um, frames are a bit little choppy here and there, weirdly enough, when you've got all the CPU cores being used. Um, and you'll see as we go further into the video when I start restricting the amount of cores that the frames actually improve by doing that as well. So very stupid but um, otherwise the game is running it I dare say looks nice obviously I'm not a fan of the modern Indy for Speed titles but I'm not gonna get into that I promised I won't bash the game so whilst I drive around like a maniac I might speed this up just to save some time and we'll flip across to the next set so this is the settings still again running um, on full screen, everything's ultra or max, but now I'm limiting the CPU. So in this clip that you're seeing now, I'm limiting it to eight cores, eight threads. And you can see that. You can see the way on the left-hand side, the way the cores are all reacting. When you do big loads, it will use the whole CPU. That's because that's the way the CPU is designed is to basically spread the load across. They're a lot more intelligent now, the newer CPUs. But now we're in the gameplay and it's done all its bulk loading, you can see that a lot of the cores aren't being used. So this is working. Eight of the cores, eight threads are just being physically selected and used for this game. And then obviously you've got the efficiency cores. Even surprisingly, two of the efficiency cores have reduced their load. So what I'm showing now is the user CFG file and I'm now restricting it even further down. So I'm taking it down to four cores, four threads, maximum count of four and we'll fire up the game again, and we'll go through the whole process, show the gameplay. I'm gonna speed this all up, just to save time, but still show the load, you know, the load's a lot smoother. It's not glitching, even though it is sped up 6,000 billion speed. And you'll see that the frames settle as well. So again, I'm going to graphic settings to show you that it's all set to ultra. The difference I've noticed though, is as soon as you start reducing the cores, the loading times take a lot longer like this piece here, even though it's sped up, it took forever. Um, that is because you've got less cores doing the load. Simple as. So, now you can see even more cores. Oh, big dump, there we go. Now you can see even more cores are restricted. So you've got four physical cores, four threads, and then a lot of the efficiency stuff is taking on the fact that I'm doing screen capture on the same machine. Um, I've got a browser open and a few other bits going on in the background. Um, but otherwise, the bulk of the game is using full core, full threads. And it seems to be working fine. And the frames have become more stable. They're a lot more, they're not bouncing all over the place um, like a yo-yo. And you can see the game is running smooth, it's running fine. Why the companies can't optimize their games? And this is an old game now, they've had donkeys. Fair enough, I think they've stopped general support for this game now as a whole. But apparently, Need for Speed Unbound is exactly the same. 
um, and I've also recently seen that there's a whole bunch of issues with the latest WRC game. Um, that's running on an Unreal Engine, slightly different, but you know, I did a lot of fixes for Codemasters with their games, um, where people are having load issues or CPU issues or resolution graphics problems. Um, yeah, so you know, when you got like Codemasters doing that to their games, I used to love the original Codemasters, the original Grid, and that's probably the last decent game they did. And then they've joined up with another publisher that can't produce optimized games as well, so it's no surprise that WRC was going to come out with some issues. It really does just sound like I hate all of them, but anyway. Um, so, again, just showing now running the game in window. Um, weirdly enough, for me, it will always chuck the window out into a stupid tiny little box, and then when you reset the game, um, it will always open at like this kind of 720 resolution. I have no idea why it keeps doing that. I've tried absolutely everything, um, diving into the code, and then when you go to look at the resolution in a window, it doesn't give you an option to change. I've even tried changing the resolution in the main game setup files. Um, and it'll still just constantly kick out to this stupid 720 resolution window, but you can just stretch it out. Just every time you load up the game, you just have to stretch it out by dragging a corner uh, to close to full screen or whatever resolution you want to use at. Um, but I say resolution, that's the wrong word. When you stretch it out, it's still going to be using whatever base resolution you set the game as in full screen. So my resolution is 1440. So even though it's a smaller box, it's basically cramming all those pixels in. Uh, resolution it's like scaling basically so that said um, I hope this kind of video wraps up a few bits and challenges some of those queries of people saying that it doesn't work on modern CPUs um, and you can also see the code that I was using in this hex file is exactly the same as what's in the YouTube description as well um, right it is different for everyone with hardware by the way you know some people say it doesn't work for them it turns out they're using a real mishmash of graphics card versus CPU and from different ages, from Stone Age to Roman time. Um, it's, it is potluck to if it's going to work for you, it's not a guaranteed fix. But this kind of just generally shows that if you still like playing this game on modern technology or modern CPUs, be it Intel, because I don't use AMD, then it, it should in theory work for you. That's enough said for me guys, I'm going to stop dribbling and uh, if this works for you or if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. As always, subscribe to the channel, check out the other content, and I'll be off. Break it.